And we begin this afternoon with the emergency at Garden City High School. Thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis and I am Brian Abel for the second day in a row. School officials are investigating a threat yesterday. Classes canceled and today the school put on lockdown. Yeah, parents had to wait hours to pick up their children from the high school with little information about the situation unfolding inside. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Garden City with more on what happened today. Kim. Yes, Glenda and Brian, thankfully no weapons were found and students have gone home. And right now, Garden City police are doing a digital dump on a cell phone to see if they can identify the person responsible. And they didn't have school yesterday because there was a threat made over Google Classroom. So now day back at school today and now we're dealing with this again. It's terrible. For a second day in a row, there was a threat made at Garden City High School. Uh, is the room barricaded? Um, yeah. Do you feel like, how are you feeling? Are you scared? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. My daughter called me to tell me that something was going on. I needed to get up here to get my granddaughter. It's scary. But at the same time, it's just gotten way out of hand. What we're sure today is, you know, the school is put in lockdown in response to social media threat. You know, police are on site and conducting an investigation. Garden City Public Schools Superintendent Derek Fisher telling Action News that someone sent the threat to students using airdrop on their Apple devices. The school went on lockdown as Garden City Police responded to search for potential danger and the person responsible. It's my understanding airdrop works within approximately a 30 foot radius. 30 to 45 foot radius. I'm just getting messages from my daughter. Um, basically that they're in lockdown, that the students are having to use trash cans to go to the bathroom because they want to let them out. Um, that the doors are barricaded and basically they're not telling these kids much of anything. My daughter's in her class right now laying on the floor. Um, some of the teachers are still teaching. Parents and the superintendent stressing that these threats will not be tolerated. Let's knock the nonsense off. You know, these kids are going to have to learn that, you know, there's penalties. There's, there's consequences to actions. This is a felony offense. This is not something to play with. You're not just going to get a, a day or two off. If you're the cause of this, you're going to get 20 years off. And it's not going to be the way you like it. And since the shooting in Oxford in Wayne County alone, prosecutor Kim Worthy has charged 38 juveniles with making school threats. Now that charge is a misdemeanor, but the punishment is up to a judge. Reporting live in Garden City, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you. And the consequences for making a false threat are very real. Since the Oxford school shooting two weeks ago, 30 juveniles in Macomb County, 38 in Wayne County, and 17 in Oakland County have been charged with making false threats.